So good morning you guys. I just want to add a few more curls to the front of my hair So I'm just getting out my um, hair curler. I think I mentioned this in my last video and it comes with like a bunch of different um, Pieces that you can add to it. So I'm going to use this one because I think this is the one that I used Last time so you just pop it in and you twist. Yep. So this is what my hair colors look like I'm gonna go ahead and um plug these in so it's actually the afternoon right now and i just want to add a few curls into the front of my hair it is looking a little bit flat i thought i would just have a quick little chit chat with you guys um so i haven't actually filmed in like three or four days um i haven't really been up too much really i've just been at home not really doing too much um i've just got some lemon tea in my santa mug it's really hot so i'm just waiting for that to uh just cool down a little bit because i haven't really been filming um over the past couple of days i haven't managed to show you guys what i got in my um advent calendar one of the days i got a uh, banana uh conditioner and another day i got a um mascara yesterday i got a uh another face mask but this one was just like a smaller sort of sample sized face mask um and it's a coffee one it really does smell strongly of coffee um and i'm not mad about that because i do actually really like the smell of coffee and speaking of coffee i do have two candles to share with you guys um that i ordered off etsy so i will be showing you guys that just wanted to mention that this video is actually in collaboration with a company called sleep and glow they very kindly sent me over two of their products at the start of the month i did feature them in festive vlog number one so i've had time to test out the product and i will be reviewing it for you guys a little bit later on in this video i will have a link for sleep and glow in the description if you want to go ahead and check them out so i've done my hair um i think that's just gonna have to do i just wanted to fix the front a little bit because it was looking really 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 flat okay let me just do this last bit here because i seem to have missed out a bit but it's looking a little bit better now it's my tea ready to drink it's a little bit more sugar um but yeah that's really 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 good so in case you're wondering here's what today's um outfit looks like i've just got some black fluffy socks on black leggings um this really lovely top which i got from primark um a few years ago my unique jumper because it's got slits down the side and yeah i've just got my hat on from holy i've got this necklace on from anna luisa this is probably one of my favorite necklaces from them and then i'm just wearing my favorite anna luisa um bracelet because i haven't filmed in a couple of days i have a few things to share with you guys i did get the banana shampoo in one of the days that i opened um with you guys um but i did actually get the conditioner as well so as you can see i have used them both this isn't my favorite scent from the body shops probably my least favorite um but these products are both really 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 good um so yeah i am gonna use them up in another day i got the happy go lash mascara which I'm incredibly happy about i did actually buy this i think it was last year or the year before and it's an okay mascara it doesn't really do too much for your lashes but if you just want to have a bit of something on your lashes that's not too extreme then this is the mascara to go for and um, i absolutely adore the packaging and we got this little face mask this is their intense awakening mask and it's actually coffee this is a very tiny version of their face mask so it's like a sample size or something and i'm quite happy about this because they usually only include one face mask in their calendar which i've already got um so yeah i'm very much looking forward to trying this one because i haven't tried this one yet um i have two products here which i want to share with you guys they're two candles from an etsy seller um and then i got sent this yesterday this is pr so i don't actually have to show you guys this I just thought i would show you anyway so this is going to be for instagram um just a little collaboration i'm doing with this company so it's teeth whitening stuff and i have actually wanted to try teeth whitening stuff for a little while so here's the toothpaste um and then it's one of those led things so you get this stuff and then you get the little uh, i can get it out let me just pop you guys here and then you get the little um led light thing that goes in your mouth it just looks like that and here you can see on the bottom 
so yeah i'm really looking forward to trying it out to see if it actually works and that's going to be going up on my instagram at some point i'm going to go ahead and do my body shot calendar now because i've been really looking forward to opening this up today because i've got some really good stuff recently so i think today is the 12th this month is going incredibly fast i know you can't see my face but let's see what we got today oh is this a face mist Oh, this sounds quite nice. So this is a vitamin C energizing face mist. I didn't actually know they did this, or maybe I did know. I, I'm not sure. I have their vitamin C liquid pill. Um, I have that in my bathroom. It's okay. I probably won't repurchase it again, but it's okay. Um, but I'm really excited to try this. So this is for dull, tired, and grumpy skin. It's rich in vitamin C. I'm yeah I'm looking forward to actually testing this out I'm quite happy about this product I love my skincare products um so and I really 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 love body shop skincare products as well I just want to point out I apologize if my hands look really dry in some clips today very sensitive skin so certain like hand washes and things like washing up liquid just irritate my skin just make my hands peel so I think the soap in the bathroom I might have used it a little bit too much yesterday and today my skin is just peeling like crazy I've been putting so much hand cream on um and it works for like a couple of minutes and then my hands go dry again so like I so I apologize if you see clips of me with I'm um, dry skin on my hands there's not really much I can do I tried scrubbing it this morning and I just have to wait for like a day or so for it to like sort itself out and if you're wondering what my go-to hand cream is right now it's the it's the body shop grapefruit one so I want to go ahead and show you guys these candles that I got from Etsy I'm just gonna prop you up here um so i ordered some candles from a company called tiny tin and co I ordered these at the start of december and i think i ordered them at a very crazy time like early hours in the morning i just had the urge to buy a christmasy candle and i'm not really the best with candles i'm very sensitive when it comes to um like scented things like perfumes and stuff um so i don't tend to really use perfumes or body sprays because they generally make me feel sick the same with candles really i have to find a scent that i like one that isn't too sickly but um at the same time i also have to find a more like natural candle um, because the stuff in most candles just give me a really bad migraine so i thought i would treat myself to a candle and see how i get on with it and it was also supporting a small business as well so i want to show you the candy cane one first i didn't get two christmasy scents i just thought i would get one so the packaging for this is really really nice i've been wanting to burn these candles ever since i got them a couple of days ago but i've just been waiting to show you guys so inside you get a little card and that's just a little business card and here is the candle so i really love the way this was packaged yep here's the candle and this is candy cane and when you open it it's actually got pieces of candy cane in there this one smells quite nice but it smells quite vanillary you can smell the peppermint but it does smell quite vanilla based um and i'm not a fan of vanilla scent but i am going to go ahead and light this one and just see how i get on with it um and then the second one i got was espresso martini i think it's called um and if i didn't mention these have a 23 hour burn time and they are 100 percent soy candles which is supposed to be good for people like me who get like really bad headaches and stuff from most candles because they've got like all sorts of stuff in there so once again this one is packaged really nicely and this one was quite cute when I opened it because um, like it's got all these little it's got these little uh, coffee beans in there which is quite sweet and yeah this one does smell very strongly of coffee it kind of reminds me of you know when you have those like uh, chocolate quality street the ones you get in a tin at Christmas and I'm sure there's like a coffee flavoured um, chocolate in there that's kind of what it smells like so I'm really excited to burn these I'm going to go ahead and light this one now. Where am I gonna put you? Uh, okay, I think over here would be quite nice. This is actually for tea light holders, so I don't know if this would be safe to have sitting in there. Oh, it might be okay, because it does sort of sit on there like that. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and light this. This light, it's quite easy to use. A 
let you guys know how I get on with it. Today I want to do a little bit of gift wrapping. Um, so I'm going to talk you through the gifts that I've got for my sister, my niece and my nephews because I think I'm going to be going to my sister's house on Monday to wrap um, the gifts that she's got for people because I usually go to hers to wrap her presents um so i thought i would just wrap the stuff and bring them all when i go to her house got some stuff under here um under my bed i think i've got some more in this one I've done my christmas shopping weeks ago um so i'm gonna have to go through everything and work out um what stuff i got for who and then i'll show you guys everything that i've got <sighs> the amount of times i've had to reheat my lemon tea in this past week is just insane so i'm just going to use some more hand cream because my hands are so dry there's not actually a huge amount of stuff that i have to wrap um it's probably just it's probably going to take me like an hour um it's really not going to take me that long to do so i've got everything jumbled up here i'm going to start off with the stuff that i've got for my nephews so my nephews are 12 I think they're 12. I don't think they're 13 yet. Um, they're twins because they're the same age. So I tend to get them the same sort of thing. So I got them both a Lynx uh, shower gel and body wash set. So one of my nephews are going to be getting this one, which is uh, Fresh fresh Clash, I think this scent is called. And then the other scent is Lynx Black, which just looks like this. So I think I'll probably give this one to Kamar and Cajun can have this one because his favourite colour is blue. If they don't like the scent that they've got, they can always swap it. I usually tend to get them like a gift set. Quite easy to get gifts for. I've also got them a Avon shower gel each because this is what happened. I ordered some stuff off Avon for my boyfriend because he said he wanted this Avon aftershave that my mum gave him. I think it was last, last year and he really, really loved it. He normally goes for the really expensive aftershaves like the ridiculously priced high-end ones he wasn't too keen on the avon one at first um but he actually really liked it so he was like can you get me another one because my bottle's finished so i decided to go on avon to get that and i thought i would order him a few more shower gels because my mum does avon and i got him some shower gels i think it was last year and he really really liked them yeah it was last year because we barely seen each other this year i think we've seen each other like twice and he really really liked them so i ordered him some shower gels and um for some reason i ordered like four or five of the same scent by accident so um i thought i would give one each to my nephews so it's the avon senses two and one for men wilderness so yeah they'll get one of these each and i've also got them some sweets because every year i get them a tube of sweets so it's just two tubes of randoms i think i normally get them smarties but i wasn't able to find any this is for charlie's mom so i don't know why that's out Denise, i got her a few little bits there was something else i wanted to get her but it's just it just hasn't been in stock and i was really sad because i wanted one for myself as well it's like a harry potter bubble bath from um, boot and it came in a gorgeous glass bottle and it was gold but it was it was sold out and when I went into boots with my sister the other month it they had it like had they had the section for it on the shelf but it was sold out and I'm not surprised because it was gorgeous me and my niece are huge Harry Potter fans when we were younger we used to love watching the films and um earlier this year I treated her to the Harry Potter um DVD set so she's got all of the DVDs now because she only had a few of them and we watched um and we watched a Harry Potter film a day for like a week and it was so 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 much fun we would watch one every evening and yes yeah, so for the past couple of years um I've been getting her the Harry Potter books and she loves reading we've got harry potter and the order of the phoenix which is a humongous book like this book is huge this is the biggest one i really love the front cover of these books they're beautiful and then we've got harry potter and the half-blood prince which looks like this i haven't actually physically read the books um i have actually listened to them um by audiobook and I have been for many many years I was even listening to it this morning so staying on the theme of Harry Potter I got her this honey jukes body spray which does smell quite nice it's like a citrusy scent I got one of these for my friend Lily as well because she also loves Harry Potter um and my niece loves body sprays and all of that kind of stuff so this is perfect for her and then I got her some chocolate coins I'm sure this had a tag on it 
don't know where it's gone but it, it did have a tag on there i'm sure it did but i think i got these from super drugs um and yeah she'll love these they're really pretty two of her favorite colors and yeah she loves chocolate and i was going to get her a pack of fruit pastels uh but i just ended up getting her a pack of randoms which just looked like this that's what i got my niece and my niece is 18 yeah she just turned 18 uh last month and yeah so that's what i've got her and lastly for my sister i got her two bars of chocolate because she loves her chocolate so i got her two cadbury's ones so we've just got the cadbury's dairy milk and then we got the cadbury's dairy milk winter wonderland edition which is a mixture of milk chocolate and white chocolate and she she's gonna love these because she loves her chocolate um and then i got her this gorgeous thing which is from boots and this is what the harry potter one looked like but it was gold and i do actually have two of these for myself because um i wanted that for christmas as well so charlie's got me Two of these this is by soap and glory my family loves soap and glory only because of me and look how gorgeous and shimmery that is so this is a bubble bar and this is their original pink scent which i love and how beautiful is this bottle like seriously so when me and my sister went to boots she did see this and um she seemed to really like it knowing to her i had actually already got her one next thing i got her was this machino miniature collection i want to show you guys the inside i actually got one for my mum as well which i did go ahead and open up i had a little sneak peek in there. this was yeah this was the one i opened so i'll go ahead and show you guys what this one looks like so these are actually sample sized um perfumes i feel like these do make really nice um gifts for people who love their fragrances i got charlie the calvin klein one about two years ago that was great for him because he could try out new scents and my mum and my sister they love their perfume so i really wanted to open this up to see why the box was so big considering that they're just miniature perfumes um the packaging is a little bit of a waste though it does look very beautiful and it makes a great gift the perfumes you just get four you can see they're all at the top and you don't really get a lot in there i think they're like five mil yeah they're five mils each a little extra that they actually come in boxes but i think that is quite cute as well so you can pop them in the boxes if you uh wanted to um but i just thought this was a very beautiful um set and i got it for my mum first and then i thought i would go ahead and get one for my sister and the last thing for my sister is actually something that i got sent the other month and it's a watch by nordgreen now i do absolutely love this watch i think it's beautiful it's pretty much the best watch i've ever had however i'm not really much of a watch wearer and my sister wears watches almost every single day and i know that she would get a lot more use out of this watch than i ever will so she knows she's already getting this watch um and it is quite an expensive watch it's over 100 pounds um and it's practically brand new i haven't even pulled out the little thing there so this is what it looks like it's this beautiful uh, gold watch you can actually change the strap so she's got this beautiful black leather strap in there so she knows she's getting this and she's already seen the watch in person um but yeah i'm happy that this is going to her because it's going to a nice home and yep yeah, so those are all the gifts that i um going to wrap I like to get them gifts that i know they're gonna love and they're going to use i finish my tea i might actually go ahead and make myself a hot chocolate in a minute with my milk frother bought myself a milk frother and i used it yesterday for the first time to make hot chocolate and i made a very tasty frothy hot chocolate and i kind of want to make another one so i might do that so i can have that while i'm um gift wrapping and i can hear bluebell i was wondering where she was because i could hear her but i couldn't see her there she is hello bluebell <laughs> she's so gorgeous are you okay in there yes are you okay <laughs> bless her um in my last vlog i gave her this christmas tree chew um chew treat hanging treat and she loves it a lot um she's been quite good with it as you can see it's still intact um but i see her nibbling on that every single day and it's 
the most adorable little thing. I completely forgot to mention something, but I got my sister a uh, Terry's chocolate orange. I keep going to say Cadbury's chocolate orange, a Terry's chocolate orange because it isn't Christmas without one of these. Um, I always expect one of these in my stocking. Um, these are great. Um, I never used to have these every single Christmas. It's just been more of a tradition since I've been with my boyfriend and every year we just get each other one of these. When she helped me go to the post office, we popped into um, a few shops after. Um, I remember she said I've never actually had the Terry's chocolate orange before, but she She's obviously seen them around Christmas time so I thought I would get her one to try because they're really good and especially the popping candy one as well that one is very tasty um, but I forgot to show you my wrapping paper as well so I'm just using this white wrapping paper everyone's getting the same wrapping paper this year because I just bought two rolls and I really like this paper it's pretty it's simple I didn't buy a lot of gifts so um, I did use it already obviously to wrap Lily stuff I didn't get a huge amount of gifts, so everything should be able to be wrapped with two rolls of wrapping paper. If not, then um, I will have to sort something. But yeah, so I'm gonna get everything set up and ready to wrap. Um, I do have some bows. I got them, I think last year from Morrison's and I have some ribbon which i got i think last year from amazon and then i also got some tissue paper which i got last year from morrison's as well and then i've got my 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 stocking which i'm gonna be bringing to my boyfriend's house because i'm spending christmas at his house i've also got my christmas sack in here as well which i do need to stitch up because it has a hole in the side i don't think i used this last year but this, uh, let me put you guys down. This is my Christmas sack. It's just a cute reindeer. Uh, it's got my name on it. I love reindeers, they're so cute. I'm on the topic of Christmas gear and things that I've been given to friends and family. This would be the perfect time for me to review the Sleep and Glow pillow, which was very kindly gifted to me um, by Sleep and Glow. If you guys have never heard of Sleep and Glow before, um, they're essentially a company who have developed this amazing pillow, which not only allows you to have a wonderful sleep at night, it's also quite beneficial for your face. And as much as I love skincare and all of that kind of stuff and people like using skincare products and all sorts on their face to make their face look brighter, smoother, younger and all of that kind of stuff. Um, people don't tend to think about things like pillowcases and pillows and how that can actually benefit your face. So if you've never seen a Sleep and Glow pillow before, this is what it looks like. It looks like this for a reason. So it doesn't matter if you sleep on your side, on your back, on your front. This pillow is perfect for everyone it is actually made out of memory foam so it's very 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 squishy but firm um my old pillow which i just kind of have on my bed for decoration or i use it during the day to like prop my head up but at night i use this pillow this is like essentially my beauty pillow With my old pillow it wasn't very nice to sleep on and i did actually say to my mum for christmas i want a new pillow with my old pillow i would have to like fluff it up to make it a bit higher and then i would end up waking up during the night and having to turn it over and fluff it up to make it a bit more comfortable to sleep on and it just wasn't very nice with this pillow it's a really good height and because it is quite firm you don't need to fluff it up or anything like that it just it just works. I'm just gonna take out the additional foam layer that they do actually give you so it looks like this and I know it's not really that thick but it does make a big difference it's really easy to get the actual pillow inside the case um, and then you just zip it up. I actually washed this case since I had it I washed it once I did hand wash it and it dried within a couple of hours so I didn't have to miss a night with this lovely pillow normal pillowcases tug and pull on your skin which can cause creases and stuff so you wake up in the morning with marks on your face but long term that can actually give you wrinkles. So the Sleep and Glow pillow has a special pillowcase on it. You've got a silk one and the one that I have is made out of eucalyptus fiber. Eucalyptus is a plant so it's the perfect material for you to have your face on at night. Um, it's very soft, it's very gentle on the skin so there's no tugging and pulling. It's actually a lot cleaner to have these type of pillowcases because with your usual cotton pillowcases you do get a build up of dirt and bacteria and I've noticed that the pillowcase does feel quite cool, not cold but quite cool which is quite nice in the evening 
evening uh, when you go to lie on it makes you feel really nice and refreshed especially if you've just done your skincare routine um, and then you lay on the pillow it just feels really good and if you wake up during the night what I tend to do is um, I like to turn over to the other side because then that side of the pillow is nice and cool. The middle is where you would rest your head if you sleep on your back or if you sleep on your front and then at the side this little cradle and this is for side sleepers like myself. I love the fact that not only does this pillow support your head, your neck and your shoulders um, so that you're actually sleeping in the correct position which is vital for your health. I love the fact that the pillowcase has so many good things about it as well. I just thought I'd go ahead and share my review with you guys because I did say that I would um, once I got the pillow and yeah I really do look forward to sleeping on it every single night and I'm going to be staying away from home soon and I'm definitely bringing my pillow to my boyfriend's house because I'm staying at his for Christmas. Whenever I'm at his house and I sleep on his pillows I wake up with the worst neck pain ever. I have a discount code for you guys it's Malika10 and you can get $10 off your purchase and I'll also have a link for you guys to use down below in the description. It's an affiliate link. I will get a little bit of money if you guys purchase um, something using my link. So I have my candle burning been burning for a little while and I have a headache. I'm not sure if it's just because I have a headache or if it's because of the candle. I feel like I can't smell it at all. <laughs> it doesn't really have, I feel like it has a slight scent, but I'm not really smelling anything. I'm not really smelling the peppermint or anything like that. If the lighting is a little bit off in here, I'm in my kitchen right now. So this is my milk frother. I'm gonna pop you guys here. So here's my, um, oh my gosh, Ipsy daisies. Yeah, let's just break everything. So um, here's my milk frother. I'll show you guys the box, what the box looks like. I got this off Amazon quite recently. So this is what the box looks like. I'll, I'll try and link it down below. these two gifts.
But it's Monday morning and I have to be really quick because my sister's waiting for me um, downstairs. So I'm gonna be going to her house today to do some gift wrapping. Yesterday I was helping my mum um, wrap some of the gifts that she got for friends and family. So I got some of my Christmas gifts yesterday. They are wrapped. I know what they are because I did ask her for them. Um, but I know I've got my keyboard I've asked for. There was two. There was two options that I gave her, so I'm excited to see which keyboard she actually picked for me. But yesterday I was thinking that I should have wrapped my um mum's gift when I was wrapping like my nieces. This is my niece's gift. It's wrapped really cutely. Um, when I was wrapping my nieces, my sisters and my nephews because my mum's going to be spending Christmas at their house. So I'm bringing the gifts that I need to wrap for my mum. Um, to my sister's house. These are the things I got her really quickly. I got her this Bayless and Hardin gift set because she really loves Bayless and Hardin. Um, so this always makes a lovely Christmas gift. I've also got her the same Machino set as you guys would have seen, um, not yesterday, but the day before. My mum's not a huge chocolate fan, but she does love Maltesers. So I've got her two of the Malteser reindeers because these are so good. Um, I got her a box of Maltesers and also this really cute little Ted Baker spray. I love Ted Baker, it's one of my favorite brand. Toiletry stuff, it's really cute. I'm not a massive fan of the scent because they're usually floral and I'm not a fan of floral scents. But this is what the body mist looks like, super cute. So I'm gonna really quickly do my advent calendar. So we need number 13 and 14 because I didn't do yesterday's one. And my chocolate calendar has just dropped behind my desk, which is not fun. I don't know how I'm going to get that out, but yeah, I haven't been eating that one anyway. Let's do box number 13. Is this a shower gel? Ah, oh, okay, we've got the grapefruit shower gel. I have been using the hand cream and it's okay. I'm not sure if I'm going to like the shower gel, but um, I'll give it a go anyway. And then this is number 14, so it's a makeup product. Oh no, it's one of their <laughs> matte liquid lipsticks again. I hate these. And they always put in the same awful color, which I can't even use anyway. But yeah, this is what we got in the calendar today. So here's today's outfit. I'm really, really loving it because there's a lot of pink. Um, so everything I'm wearing is from Primark. Um, I've managed to put my really cute pin on, which you guys would have seen in my last vlog. I've got this Anna Luisa necklace on, and then I've got my really cute Louis Vuitton bag, which I love. And I'm just gonna quickly throw on some black boots. And here's just a close up of the pin and the necklace that I'm wearing. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, find out where my sister is parked. I've got a really heavy bag to bring down with me. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the car. Oh, Sainsbury's. Told, no, don't know. Shanice oh, told me if there's a dent in it. Look, I'm not taking it back though for oh, that. There's no. always got to be a side where it faces the wall, isn't it? Slides. I love plants. Fake plants. Oh, oh tree! Imagine them putting the tinsel. I've got on the candy canes later. Okay. It looks quite basic, but it's fine, isn't it? Right, so I've just got to my sister's house. We had to go to my mum's workplace first so we could drop off her headphones. So I'm gonna start gift wrapping in a bit and my nephew's actually decorated the living room. These are the presents that my mum brought here yesterday. I'm gonna be putting my presents under the tree as well. Is that their main gift? Uh, yeah, the boy is under, under the drum, which is a This is a bit neutral question. myself a mug of lemon tea I'm gonna start gift wrapping soon the the living room is a mess it's just got presents everywhere and boxes and bits of packaging my niece is here as well I didn't know she's didn't know she was gonna be here today she's um, off college I think her college is shut oh and I also managed to grab a clip of my nephew's gerbil snowy um, he did have a brother Akon who very sadly passed away recently and also my niece's hamster Coco passed away quite recently as well which is quite sad because 
I like to come in here to see Coco. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would update you on the, the pets. Oh, and they have uh, the milky bar at the calendars. So here's pretty much everything that I need to wrap. And here's my niece's stocking and my nephew's stocking. I don't know where the other one is. So. She has to work at the hospital most of the time. I'm not asking for much this Christmas. Just a Bones Brigade skateboard. You know the red one with the skeleton on it? My brother Teddy won't even let me touch it. sister have been wrapping for a couple of hours uh, we just got Shrek on in the background um, at the moment and these are the gifts that we've wrapped so far and then these are the gifts from my sister I know what some of them are she said this one is from uh, her and my nephew so I'm sorry if the lighting is a little bit bad so me and my niece are going to start organizing the presents underneath the christmas tree uh we do this every single year i'm going to be putting the gifts that i brought um under the christmas tree as well i didn't get to wrap my mum's gifts because we ran out of wrapping paper so i'm gonna have to take them back home and wrap them and then bring them back again because i'm going to be here again in a couple of days for a few days um and yeah my sister's gone to pick up my nephew hi guys um i know i haven't been on malika's channel for quite a while now since last um christmas. since last christmas actually <laughs> but um it's me shanice as you know oh my god sorry i get so nervous <laughs> this is all yours you. make sure no one tramples on it because you're murdered okay. <laughs> so i am back and um i am malika's niece if you don't know and my name's Shanice, but hopefully I'll see you guys more in the future videos. You will. This you will week. see me more. This week. This week. So where yeah, are you going to put your stuff? Uh, okay. This is yours. Thank you. Okay, this is grandma's one, back corner, because she does her gifts like after dinner. Yeah. <laughs> I don't right. This is also yours, this box. Oh, wow. I think... Hello. Uh -huh. All right, see you soon. Bye. And then everything else is for Caden and Kamal. I'm so excited! That's okay. yours. Oh, this is my little stone! Yes. What is it? Which one's are Caden's? Oh, oh I did them quite nicely. Oh, okay. Oh, this is One more gift. Oh yeah! <laughs> and guys, for the last gift to put under the tree, Where does it I go? think it should go. Yeah. Yay! Hid <laughs> it away. So I'm gonna end this um, festive vlog here. I'm gonna go ahead and make myself another cup of tea. See <laughs> you guys in a couple of days, and um, you'll see Shanice as well for a few days. So I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.